They're pretty happy to get a new ball in their hand. Renwick taking a second slip. Ollie Newton's done a great job for the Firebirds all year. Looked like a good surface. Neil Broom started off. Three boundaries very quickly, and it just looked like the pitch was very good. Then a wee edge behind Brad Wilson, the experienced Brad Wilson, was given not out by Billy Bowden. They referred it upstairs. You could just see some seam movement, and it was deemed that he did edge it. At this stage, Neil Broom was just looking at Beautiful touch. Smith got off the mark with a lovely cover drive, and then a loose shot to the bounce of Bennett. Nisham took the rebound. That was the first wicket in the over. Next ball, Hack's gone. Two and two for Hamish Bennett. And the Firebirds are on a roll. And then to finish the over, Anaru Kitchen out for two. He got through the hat-trick ball, but three wickets to Hamish Bennett. And while that was happening, Neil Broom was just playing cover drive after cover drive. And looking at a beautiful touch. And then the big moment of the match, the big moment where they took out the slip and nearly paid the price. But an excellent catch by Johns. This stage 57 for six. And then the last thing you need is a run out. Josh Finney batting at number eight was run out. He couldn't believe it. Shook his head. And it was a brilliant bit of work by Johns. Just out. And that's all it needs to be. So 57 for seven. And Christian Rodion joined Rippon. And they just steadily went about their work. Taking the opportunities, hitting the bad ball, putting it away. Wellington really did allow them to get set. The Monks did show it was a good surface. The amount of boundaries and how quickly the ball went to the outfield. Both players were enjoying the extra time they had at the crease. While they'd rather be watching the top order do it. Riffin brought up his 50. Top on Hamish Bennett. Beautiful shot down Breeze. The stage. It was a mini fight back. Leon got in under the act. He brought up his second list day 50. The partnership had gone over 100. And they started to open the arms. James Neesham was taken to it to death. And Riffin maybe had thought 100 was in sight, got caught for 82 of 112 balls. Fourth wicket for Hamish Bennett. Christopher Leon said, no, no, I'm going to finish the way I want to. Put one out of the park. That was a cracking shot over cover. And the Volts got through to 234 after being 57 for seven. They were jubilant at half time. You could see a spring in them step when they came out to warm up and bowl. Six bowlers used by the Firebirds. Two wickets for Newton, four for Bennett. And we have a game on our hands now. The equation, 235 needed off. It's 50 overs started. Well for the Volts in the drum, they got an early wicket and then the momentum seemed to go towards them. Yes, they did. And then Wellington just started to grow in a little bit of confidence, pretty much dealing with boundaries. And then all of a sudden we saw that the momentum shift back after Conway looked pretty good. Pollard looked pretty good, finding the gap, just looking comfortable out there. And then all of a sudden, Kitchen breaks through. And then the game just started to change and momentum started to shift towards Otago. This run out was really critical. Side on, one wicket to aim at. Just beautiful. Neil Broom, just execution. Superb. Certainly was. And at that stage, 54 for three. And then James Nisham, all the talk about the batting and taking control. Well, Michael Griffin got one through the defence, through the back foot, and took out middle stump. And at that stage, 64 for four. It looked like the Volts were on top. Brilliant Robin from Rippon. One of the men of the moments from today's final. Got out Bracewell. And then came the partnership that pretty much won it for Wellington. Just a superb knock from Noffel. Young husband played his part. Probably won't get all the, the plaudits that he deserved. But he did exactly what he needed to do. Some beautiful shots from Noffel. Just played so controlled. Didn't try too hard. Partnership of 118, just so critical to the outcome of this game. Momentum was with the Firebirds. They tried another bowl of Finney Boulders off spin. Just come with the wind. Young husband started to unleash and then an LVW. Jacob Duffy brought himself back in. Young husband judged LVW. He was gone and the Volt sensed an opportunity. Knuckle 
Yeah. Out of nowhere, really. Caught by Ripon at this stage. The Volks have their tails up, but the man of the moment also. Johns. He had the gloves played beautifully. Picked up 24 of 22 boundaries. And Ollie Newton had been hit the helmet the over before. He hit the winning runs. He's been brilliant with the ball. And the celebrations were there for the Firebirds. It means so much when it's so tight. So the Firebirds, after losing the early wicket of Fletcher, Pollard got going nicely, 33. But it was Noffel on 73 off 96. Young husband, 49. That partnership of 118. And then a cameo at the end, Johns, 24 off 20. Newton played his part, 7 off 8. And then they got through to 235 for the loss of 7 wickets. The Volks tried everything with the ball. Duffy, 3 for 50. Smith did a good job into the breeze, none for 46. Kitchen was brilliant, 1 for 30. Michael Rippon, he created so much with the bat and with the ball, 2 for 47. And Lillian and Finney were also required. So when you look at the summary, the Ford Trophy final on the first day of December 2018. The Volts made 234 for eight. And the Firebirds chased it down, seven down.